on this auction. Jeez, I got such a high. My heart was like beating out of my chest. I was just so nervous and excited. And I was just like, oh my gosh, please, please, I hope I win. I was thinking to myself, what the hell did I just do? Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys going? I am so excited. I'm so nervous, I'm excited, I'm everything. As you guys can tell by the title, I have purchased Okay, I pre-loved vintage Louis Vuitton Noé of eBay. Like what? I'm so nervous. My heart's pumping right now like crazy. Okay, so why did I go down the pre-loved vintage route, um, you know, through eBay and stuff? I just wanted to revive my love for Louis Vuitton after seeing some YouTubers looking at their pre-loved purchases off eBay, watching their unboxings, and I thought, wow, these pieces are such good quality, and I thought I just go in and have a look, not thinking that I would purchase a Noé because I'm not sure if that's my style or not. I've never tried one on, I've never seen one in real life. So I was looking at some other Louis Vuitton designs and I came across this one and it ticked all the right boxes. Everything just looked really, really good. And I thought, well, I'll put in my max bid and see if I win. I put my alarm on, made a bid on my phone, putting my max bid in at 245 US dollars with 15 seconds left to go. And I won the auction at $242.50. I think I got such a great bargain, especially with the condition that this bag is in. Everything looked perfect. I looked at all the photos, zoomed everything in. I did hours and hours of research and uh, oh my gosh, yes. I, I'm, just, I'm just so excited to unbox this with you. So... So this here is the parcel and I just got, got it yesterday. I bought this from an eBay Japan seller. I got this from TIG Japan and shipping was pretty fast. It only took about four or five days to get here. And this is how it came. They packaged it like this, like what? I have no idea. This came from Japan. Oh, I'm so nervous because I got this from eBay. That's my first ever Louis Vuitton pre-loved piece. Enough talking, let's get straight into the unboxing. Yes, it's really nicely packed. What? Oh my gosh. What? It's nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. Okay, it's nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. Okay, carefully open this with my fingers. Oh, I'm just so, this is so exciting. I just, I just, oh my gosh, I just cannot, I cannot. Wow, okay, so this is the bag. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. <gasps> I cannot believe I'm touching this bag, it's so pretty. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I cannot right now. Look how gorgeous this bag is. Um, It smells like it is well vintage. It doesn't smell that bad. Like I thought it would stink. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm just going to stuff this bag, tie it up and I'll talk more about it. I just went to wash my hands before as well. I'm just like, this exceeds my expectations. This is like such a good pre-loved vintage piece and it's well vintage. I was looking at something where there were no cracks or anything on the vachetta, no cracks or tears on the monogram canvas. And I was looking for something, especially with the drawstring. No cracks, no tears, not so dark. This one does feel a bit crunchy. But uh, I can live with that. I can definitely put some leather conditioner and just soften it up, give it some moisture and life. But the quality is just, it's got a nice shine to it. So according to the date code, this bag was made in France in February 1988. It's a well true vintage piece, 28 years old. I cannot believe it. This bag has the embossed stamp with the small F where it says Louis Vuitton made in France, which symbolizes that this was made in the 80s. So it's a true 80s vintage piece. They changed the F around, I'd say around 1990 to 1991. And this strap in here is true to the 1980s because it has the raw vachetta inside. It's true vintage Louis Vuitton. This is where the canvas was at its thickest. The brass hardware was true brass hardware. You can tell that it's just aged beautifully there's no, no chipping no cracking no peeling such an even tarnish on all the brass hardware the vintage Louis Vuitton ways inside don't have a d-ring on one side of the bag adds up where the fleur 
the fleur-de-lis is whereas the other side it does not and all the vintage noise I've looked at you know I looked at fashion file the real real Mallory's Potero and this is true to the vintage Louis Vuitton noise back in the 80s it's in such good pre-loved condition you know someone rocked this back in the day 28 years ago oh, just the honey patina is just it melts my heart and the monogram is just so beautiful so when I was looking on eBay this bag ticked all the right boxes it looked like a piece that I could easily clean up I wanted a really nice honey patina throughout I wanted one where the drawstring was not cracked or peeled especially along the edges here no cracks or peels or tears or rips so when I was looking through TIG Japan I read through all of their feedback I looked through all the other items they were selling there was no no bells or whistles with this bag like you know I could see every single detail I could see all the embossed stamping I could see all the stitching the brass hardware the base of the bag the corners the handle just everything matched up to a vintage pre-loved Nui. I felt very comfortable purchasing off this seller because in Japan they have very strict counterfeit laws. They have a 14 day return policy. Yeah, I highly recommend this seller for sure. I can't wait to clean it up and just disinfect it and just, you know, air it out, um, take away that vintage smell. It doesn't actually smell that bad. It smells like something that just came from the op shop, really. Guys, can you believe it? 242 US dollars 326 Australian dollars at the moment for brand new ones. Um, they're selling it for $1,700 I'm just so excited that I got this pre-loved just got a really nice honey color to it already I just I'm just I'm just over the moon. Oh, I just love it so much. I, I gotta show you the inside Oh my gosh, it's so relaxed and it's so boho it's it's given me more confidence to search on eBay for more pre-loved vintage Louis Vuitton pieces. Oh, so that's a wrap for my pre-loved eBay unboxing for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Welcome if you're new. I'd also love to know your thoughts on my latest handbag. Like, what do you guys think? Does she look gorgeous or what? Like, oh, I'm just so happy. If you've purchased anything off eBay, Prela Vintage Louis Vuitton, pleasant or not pleasant, let me know. Also, if you guys can give me some tips on cleaning up the vachetta of the bag, what you guys use as a leather conditioner, but also how you get rid of the vintage smell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, please take care. Bye for now.